Okay, my friends, today is the day I am going to brag like hell. We have information that CERN needs and we are willing to share, but it's extremely excellent information that exceeds their capabilities. Now, CERN just put this out today. They're looking for a boson. We found them years ago, and we have them in copious quantities. I can easily show you, but it goes down to this story here about they're looking for these Z bosons which have no power whatsoever and you're going to see them I show you I, we, we have photo of them and, and then of course you have the fermion portion which is the explosive part and we also have that and electron flood theory which is my theory of nuclear physics says that there is nothing but electrons and they flood the core and that is what creates a dipole core and it also allows for dipole electrons, which are a strong and weak force, and only the strong force explodes. All of this you will see in my experiments. So, let's get started. Alright, I'm just going to make this real quick because I'm going to go into all this again, but I want you to get an overview of what's happened. This is light from a pulsed red laser. These little glowing dots are actual electrons that are in the air, free electrons collected on water molecules primarily, that are glowing due to the concussion of the wave coming through the air. But in addition to being a wave, it's also a particle. The particle exists within the center of a magnetic ball. That's why you don't see the particle, but you see the wave. Now, then you see the particle being pulled out of the wave. And then you see the explosiveness of the fermion portion. Then you see the Higgs fields, which come from the Cheryenkov radiation. And then you see this, which that's an uh, antiparticle, I believe. Then you see this, which is the photon assembly of electrons. And now we're going to go a little deeper. Okay, the reason I'm doing this today is because CERN just put this out today about search for the rare decay of Higgs bosons. We have found this and discovered this long ago and tried to make them aware of this and nobody will respond. They are using proton-to-proton -proton collisions, gigantic particles. We're using light and we are seeing the real particles that they are looking for. Physicists at Collaboration presented the latest results of their search for one such rare process in which a Higgs boson transformation into a Z boson and a photon. I've shown this, and I will now, and then I'm going to leave it at that. I want somebody in reality to pay attention. All right, here's an electron neutrino. This is some big deal to them. High speed electron, high voltage electron comes in, crashes into the medium here, and cracks it. And then you end up with all of these showers of electron neutrinos, electron showers. Well, let's see if we can see that. All right, we saw the light wave, which is a ball of magnetism with a particle in the center. We saw that particle being pulled out, which is here, shooting through a venturi, accelerating, crashing into, so it becomes a high-speed electron. Those high-speed electrons come at us, and when they smash into this stagnant space, they force it to polarize particles as they spin coming through them. This was a reverse spinning particle created an antiparticle, I believe. I'm pretty sure this was that white particle that I said was an antiparticle, and it appears to be because it's either converting into a particle or doing something that I don't understand at this moment. But um, the, it's a particle, and it's changing its particle nature. That's all I can say. This is exactly what they claim to be looking for, which is the light particles of photons, and actually electrons in, in a con photon configuration, are charge separating. And we're seeing the bosons separating from the fermions. Now, I'm going to show you something else that won't be admitted. So they end up walking around in circles, pretending they're looking for stuff, and refusing to engage in reality. And that's NASA. Alright, this is the other problem I have, is that the experts refuse to engage in reality. Just listen to this.
This is for NASA. They're going to Mars, and they don't understand Earth. They don't understand Mars. They don't understand the vacuum of space. They don't understand literally anything, and they refuse to engage, engage in reality. Just watch. This is stunning, yes. It's spectacular, absolutely. It's, it's, it's reality. Okay, my good friends, it's Roger once again. Anybody that has Google Earth can come up and look at this gigantic dragon that attacked the gigantic fish that is right underneath, which is that gigantic fish right there. Now, this is in the Sahara Desert, and this is in Morocco. This is a dragon, and that is his dragon scale throat. Now, these are spectacular by any measure whatsoever because they have been ignored and denied. Now, now, I don't need to go any further with this. It's called Questions for NASA as Requested. They said they were going to go to Mars, and if you had any questions, they would answer them. Well, I submitted my questions in this form, and also I emailed as I, well, let me show you. I'll show you. Okay, now, I, I emailed all these people. I emailed they have virtually all everybody. <laughs> areas of uh, expertise, evolution of early life, genomics, um, water on the moon, and so on. All right, it, it goes on and on, and then I show what, like the Mars blueberries, and then the, it's, it relates to interstitial, and, you know, I have all the DNA tests of the things, and then this, the, like these big, these are the same as the Mars blueberries, they're interstitial balls from giant creatures. I'm sorry, that is the reality of the world we live in, and if you cannot accept reality, then you're just walking around circling as, as a fool in the woods, laughing at reality. These are the people we're paying NASA. I expect, I, here's, the, here's the key. Silence is not an option. I have presented evidence. I have presented DNA reports, specimens, CAT scans of giant human beings. I have s presented all of this stuff with the light experiments. Silence is not an option. If they are experts and they are teaching the kids and they are taking our money to do this research and then refuse reality, what the hell is that all about? And that is exactly what has happened. And that's why I've taken such a, a strong attitude against this. Because if I don't speak up, nobody can speak to these people. And, if, and, and I want to rub them so raw that they have to speak up. I want to be put in my place. I want to be put in my place. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm right, I'm right. But I, your silence will no longer be tolerated. I will push this every single day, and I will put the names out there, and if your names will be disgraced if you will not do your job. End of story. All right. I had taken DNA samples from deep inside these mud fossils. This is a fingertip. It's been DNA tested, it's human, CAT scanned, anatomist verified, microscopy, chemistry, the whole nine yards. This is the lung, which is a human lung. This is about the size of us. And this is the pleura on the lung, the pattern of the lung, the investment of the lung, the flap at the bottom. Fully certified. And these were done in the most extreme clean conditions and extracted from deep inside from what I understand is the artery, not from just anywhere. So, and he said it was a, a very dense for, for ancient DNA. Now, this was done in the most, in the best way you can do it. It was done with ancient gene clean kits and all kinds of stuff, PCR, um, I don't know what whatever they do, but it's it was done with with all of the ancient protocols. Now, this is why I'm so upset because nobody will allow this to be seen, and I did all of the things that they asked for, all of the universities. I contacted virtually all of them, and and it's very very upsetting that they are the ones that sell literally sell 
knowledge and refuse to accept it. And I, I, I know that there's, a, there's, there's other consequences to this, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to stay out of that end of it, but if I was trained by them and forced to say all the things that they force people to say to get a, a, a passing grade, knowing that they understood all this years ago, I would be very upset myself. So what is the solution? The solution is get a hold of me. I will make my information available to you. Then we can have an open discussion. That's all it takes. Nobody's going to throw rocks at you. Well, maybe. <laughs> Nobody's going to. This is this is not something that anybody expected. So, but it, it but it's uh, this is the, what the response to me. Is certainly nothing I expected. I expected people to, to want to know reality and truth. And when you force it onto them, and it is just, there's no question, it's undeniable, and it is not allowed to be seen, that really, really chafes me deeply. After I've done all this work and spent all this time and been rebuked by everyone and had been demeaned by everyone because all the experts have really been very nasty to me. And... Um, uh, the herd mentality makes everybody else be nasty to me. So I've ended up alone at this, but I don't care because I'm not going to back down.